Hi everybody, it's Kara. I wanted to do a quick little share and show you these ATCs I made this weekend. I made them for a swap I'm hosting over at Art and Sassy. We are doing ATCs this month and you have a choice between traditional or kind of gothic. And I really wasn't planning on doing the ATC swap this time. Um, I just I wasn't totally feeling it, but I watched a video from think it was Serena B. I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong, but I'll put a link down below to her video. And I just, I really liked her ATCs. She's doing the swap. And then while I was still kind of thinking about those and trying to decide if I wanted to do it, I went through some images I'd actually printed up last year because I used these same images, only a little bit larger, for some tags that I made last year. And when I stumbled across them again now, I decided that I could use them again. I really like them. I think they're pretty cool. So I cut them out and I created these ATCs. So let me just pick one, kind of show you what I did because they're all very similar. I used um, black cardstock. This is true black cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And I just cut it out into the size of an ATC, which is two and a half by three and a half. And then this little piece back here that you see is actually a canvas sized, it's an ATC sized piece of canvas that I had you know, in my stash. I cut it down slightly so that the black cardstock would show. And what I did is I took a background stamp, which is actually kind of a lacy background stamp, and I embossed it. I just took some black embossing powder, embossed it on that canvas, and then I took some distress ink and rubbed it over so that it would get kind of a little bit of a color. So I did one in kind of an orange, a green, and a purple, basically to match the colors on the dresses of these kind of Victorian gothic looking ladies. Then I fussy cut out the ladies. I adhered them. You can also see in some parts of their outfits, like right here and here, I used this, what is it called? Touch of Stella um, kind of paintbrush or brush marker type thing, which I've had forever and just never used. So I did that on certain little spots. It's different for every, um, all three of them, some in the hair, that kind of thing. Then I used this sentiment, I put it up on a little bit more of a 3D adhesive, attached some black roses with some seam binding, and then each one of them got a different charm and a little bit of bling. So this is the one that's um, orange in the coloring, and then I have this green one. Everything's done the same except for, of course, I you know put the glitter parts on different parts of the dress. Hopefully you can see that. And then, of course, I have the purple one, which is probably my favorite. So, there you go. There are the three of my ATCs for that swap. There's still plenty of time to join if you're interested. You basically just have to have your three ATC cards done, by the, done and in the mail to me by the end of the month. So I'll put a link down below to that, and I'll also put a link down below to that original video that I saw, which kind of um, inspired me. It's not that um, these cards are similar to hers in any way. I just really liked hers and kind of got motivated. Oh, and let me show you on the back. I just adhered some kind of black, um, some black lace with a little bit of that um, collage page stuff. So that's how the backs are finished. So anyway, once again, I'll leave a link down below to the video and to Art and Sassy in case you want to check out our swaps or join this one. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye!